Wolf packs do not actually have alpha males. Do wolves mate for life? Is a wolf pack hierarchy actually a perfect family? We all have heard that a wolf pack is led by an alpha pair. Being an alpha leader is now associated with a strong and dominant position. But if we try to trace back the alpha term, we will find that the origin of the word starts with some of the earliest research on wolves. All of that early research suggested that wolves follow an incredibly sophisticated group hierarchy and that they naturally organize themselves in packs for stability and hunting. Within this strict system of hierarchy, social norms, and a lot of violence, early research is talking about alpha, beta, and omega wolves who are basically the weakest and at the bottom of the rank. But what if all of this is not actually the truth? According to recent studies, the wolf's nature is usually much less complicated. The terms alpha and beta come from research on wolves in captivity. And today we can say that in many ways, wolves are like humans. Packs are actually families usually with wolf parents and their puppies. The adults are simply in charge because they are the parents of the rest of the pack members, not because they are alpha. Rudolf Schenkel studied wolves at the Basel Zoo in Switzerland, where wolves were kept together in close space. These wolves that lived in unnatural conditions formed unusual groups and relations with their partners. So when wolves are in a closed captive space created by humans, they form a hierarchy that is based on dominance and usually violence. But with recent studies, we know that in an all-natural environment, they never become that way. These early ideas about hierarchy and dominance-driven packs were popularized in the 40s, 50s, and later 70s through scientists like David Meck. But after more research in the last few decades, he realized his mistake. So now, when we see wolf packs in the forest, we can see a family, parents with first-generation puppies, or sometimes second-generation as well. In the big packs, there can be more generations that stick together, and it usually depends on the food they need to provide for themselves. If they need to hunt bigger animals, the pack is also bigger. Who is the lone wolf, then? Wolf parents take care of their puppies. With their guidance, puppies learn to hunt and grow. As the puppies grow and become more independent, after a year or two, they can leave the pack and start to for their own family. Sometimes puppies leave the pack, start a family, and come back to their parents to form a bigger pack. A lone wolf is a wolf that is searching, and what it seeks is another wolf. Everything in a wolf's nature tells it to belong to something greater than itself. A pack. Like us, wolves form friendships and maintain lifelong bonds. Seems familiar, doesn't it? Sometimes wolves can be misunderstood. Wolves are complex, highly intelligent animals who are caring, playful, and above all, devoted to family. Only a few other animals exhibit these traits so clearly. Wolves educate their young, take care of their injured, and live in family groups. A family group can persevere for several generations, even decades, carrying knowledge and information from generation to generation. They mate for life. Wolves are monogamous and spend their lives with each other. They are the only two wolves in their pack that have breeding rights. The pack comprises grown pups and possibly some other close relatives. The pair, mother and father, are the only two to mate to keep the pack population under control because all except them are typically related. And wolf does not have incest, like many other animals. The two wolves hunt, sleep, groom, play and mate together. They are rarely seen apart. 
When they lose a pack mate, there is evidence that they suffer and mourn that loss. Mating is only once a year. Yes, wolves breed once a year in late winter or early spring, depending on where they live. The pair may go somewhere together at that time to be alone. They also don't want to mate in front of their children's eyes. After they breed, the female will seek out the perfect spot for a den to give birth. Den can be the same spot that they have used through generations. The male, as with every good husband, takes care of the female, brings her food, and the other members will bring her and the pups food and always let her enjoy the kill first if she leaves the den. As the pups are old enough to meet the pack, the female will bring them out to eat with the pack when she eats. The pack family members will help with little wolves and show them how to be great pack members. Did you know that wise people say, live your life like a wolf? Yes, we can see now why. We can see them as caring and extremely loyal animals. When we look at wolves, we are looking at tribes, extended families, each with its own homeland, history, and knowledge. Sometimes the conditions we created for animals are not representative of their reality in nature. If you want to learn more about nature, make sure to subscribe for more videos. World Cut